Moving like the speed of sound Feet can keep on the ground Can't stay in one place What's going on my fellow Minecrafters? This is Squishy here and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a Minecraft server by using port forwarding and 11 easy easy steps all right and I'm gonna take you step by step you will not mess this up there will be no error there's no room for error in this tutorial okay and if you guys like this and it helps you and everything like that go ahead and smash that subscribe button yep just smash it just break that freaking mouse break it I said break it okay anyway and go ahead and give me a thumbs up share it on Google you know share it on Facebook do whatever you got to do all right so let's get started number one Create a folder called Minecraft server. All right, guys, so what you want to do is I went ahead and made it on, I already have mine on my desktop. You're going to right click on your desktop and go to new. Um, you're going to, you know, type in Minecraft server, server, whatever. Let's just make one called server. Okay, so now I got a folder right there. So let's go to step two. Step number two, download the server file and install it into the Minecraft server folder. All right, guys, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to Minecraft.net. You're going to go right here to download it here. And then you're going to go to multiplayer servers and you're going to click on it. Now, I do have the direct link down in my description if you don't want to go through all this or you can just follow my steps. It doesn't really matter as long as you get it done. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and double click server. Make sure you hit your desktop server and you're going to save it into that folder you just created. So now you can open up your server folder and right here, just double click on it. Hit run, and what it's going to do is it's going to start your server, but it's going to actually build. Oh, it's going to build all the folders you're going, or all the files and folders you're going to need. So once you see a list of all these folders and files, go ahead and exit out of your server. All right, now you can go over here and exit out of this folder. Okay, so let's go on. Step number three: find your internal or local IP address. Okay, guys, so how you're going to find your internal IP address is if you have Windows 8. You're going to take your mouse and jam it all the way into the right hand corner. And then a little search bar is going to come out and you're going to go ahead and type this next command there. But since I am using Windows 7 and this works for Windows 7 or below, just go ahead and click the start menu. And there's going to be a little search bar right here. You're going to type in CMD and then hit enter. Okay, once you hit enter and the little box comes up, the command box, you're going to type IP config. IP C O N F I G and then hit enter. Okay, now what you're looking for is your IPv4 address. See, mine is 10006. Okay, so you're going to want to write that down or copy it, have a Word document open, and just type it like that. You know, whatnot, whatnot. So once you have that, you're going to go ahead and exit. Step four. Set up port forwarding on your router. All right, guys, so now you're going to want to access your router. In my description, I have the IP address you're going to need to get into this, um, but it's actually easier than that. The IP address that you took out of the command box, at C rec right here, it says 10001. Um, all you got to do is add a 1 on the very end of whatever IP address you got for your IPv4 because that is the main IP address. That's what's going to connect to your router. The one spot will always be saved for your router. Okay, so once you get into here, you're going to go ahead and go down to port forwarding slash trigger. Or sometimes it's a little different per router. Um, sometimes it could be, you know, it could say games or, you know, have different options. Well, anyway, let's just continue. So here I have port forwarding selected. See, I already have my server and everything set up. Okay, so once you got port forwarding, you're going to hit add custom service. Or, you know, there might be little boxes already here for you where you don't have to add all this. You just have to type it all in. So whatever the case may be, you're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to hit edit because I already have it just so I can show you guys what to do. All right. So now that it's open, here is the settings you are going to need. For the service name, just type Minecraft, Minecraft server, whatever you want. On the service type, you're going to want TCP slash UDP or your router might just have both the option that says both okay for your external starting port you're gonna need 25565 and for your ending port you're gonna need the same thing 25565 okay now here is where your when you wrote when I told you to write down your internal IP address 
right here, internal IP address 10006. Mine has an actual uh, list I can just select and then it pops it in there for me. And then you're going to want to go ahead and click apply. Step number five, open the Minecraft server folder and edit the ops.txt. Okay, so now once you get back to here, I'm actually going to delete this folder because I already have one made. You're going to go click on your Minecraft server folder. All right. And what you do is you go down to this ops text and you can double click it. And in this one, you're going to want to add your username and anyone else's username that's going to be allowed to connect to your server. Like if you and all your friends are playing, make sure they're all right here. This is the list that tells your server what users can connect to it. Okay. Step number six, open the server.properties file. Okay, guys. So in this one, you're going to see the server.properties. What I did first was I right clicked on it and I made a copy of it. Okay. And then I pasted the copy. So that one is, that one is the default one. So if anything ever, if I ever mess something up in here, then I, I automatically have a backup. Okay. So as you can see, this says, if you double click it, it can't find this file type. So it can't open it. So what you got to do is right click on it and then you can tell it to open with notepad. Now, if this option isn't there, you're going to want to go down to properties. And then right here where it says opens with, you're going to hit and hit right here as you see change. You're going to click on change. And then you should see notepad or wordpad or something in here. If you do not see any of this stuff in here, there's usually a bar that goes across with a little arrow and you click on it and it gives you more options. So you just make sure that either notepad or wordpad is there to open it. Let me go ahead and open it real quick. All right. Now, this is all about your server. Okay, and in my description, I actually have a link to tell you what all this stuff is and what it all means. And you know, you can just go through there and edit everything yourself how you want it. Um, like, see, level name, uh, you know, sir, here's your server port 25565. That's what you did on the router. Uh, you can go down here, player idle timeout. I put 100. Um, a message of the day, Squishy's World. Um, I also included a link in my description that teaches you how to do color codes on this. So instead of just being plain old Squishy's World, it'll be like, you know, I can do rainbow colors. I might want to do Squishy's name in red and then world in black, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, so you can just go through here and edit everything like you see fit. Step number seven, start your server by clicking the Minecraft server 1.74.exe file. Okay, guys, so now we've made it to the point where we need to go ahead and start the server. So just go ahead and double click this, and there we go. Now my server is pretty much up and running. So let me go ahead and minimize that. Step number eight, find your external IP address. All right, guys, so now what you're going to want to do is go to ipchicken.com. A link will be included in my description. All right, and what this does is it shows current IP address. This is your external IP address. Um, as you can see, mine is blurred out um, because I don't want any of you little mofos trying to hack into my computer systems or anything like that. So once you get this down, you need to copy it. This is the number, the string of numbers that you're going to want to give to your friends to directly connect to your server. So you've got to make sure you write this down. Step number nine, start Minecraft and select multiplayer. All right, guys. So now what you want to do is you want to make sure you have Minecraft opened up and you want to go ahead and hit multiplayer. Now what you're going to be doing is doing a direct connect. All right. So again, sorry, my server address is a little blurred out. So you all can't connect to me, but this is my server that's on there. Trust me, it's my external IP address. And I'm going to click join server just to show you that the server is up and running. And there you have it. My server is up and running and is fully functional. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys and make sure that you your external IP address is the one that you give all your friends. Okay. And I hope all you guys have fun. If you guys create a server and you want me to check it out, just shoot, you know, leave a comment and I'll be more than happy to check out your server and come on there and, uh, you know, record a little bit with you guys and do whatever it takes to, uh, you know, get everyone known and, you know, have fun with people and don't forget to subscribe, mash that subscribe button and hit that like button. This is Squishy signing out. Like the speed of sound Feet can keep on
the ground Can't stay in one place 